Oh my goodness, this is so cute! <laughs> oh, what a great way to start a construction video. What is up, beautiful people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. We are rocking, um, uh, you know, lighter makeup look today because we are wearing Juicy Couture tracksuits and being construction workers. It's 2002. <laughs> it's 2002 again. Yeah. So anyways, that explains that look. But today, you guys remember, this is my BFF, Quinn. Hi! <laughs> so you guys remember, we gave Quinn's Closet a makeover in an old video of mine. You may, uh, may recall it was kind of a smash hit, if I do say so myself. And today, uh, Quinn has actually moved into a new apartment, all on her own. So we are going to go ahead and uh, do another closet makeover. But this time, it's a little different because we have to build a closet out of literally nothing. So we're gonna do like this wall tumbler inspired um, kind of wall closet looking thingamajigger bobber and see what we can come up with on a budget, of course. So without further ado, here we go. 2002 style, George Biscuit approved DIY wall closet makeover. Broke bitch style, of course. <laughs> So we've got everything all loaded up on this glamorous little cart thing and we are going to bring it all to Quinn's house and get started. So goodbye little pumpkin man. Miss you already. So uh, let's go. Paris and Nicole who? Really the cutest carpenters I've ever seen. Ooh. <laughs> okay guys, so we have officially arrived at the Casa de Quinn. Yes. And this is the wall. So this is the wall that we are going to turn into the closet of Quinn's dreams. So I'll show it to you guys real quick. So here we go. This is the wall that is going to be turned into a closet extraordinaire. Thank you, Miss Quinn. Take a bow. Check hands. <laughs> so we are going to get started, but first, obviously, we need to go to pick up some stuff. So onward to Home Depot we go. To Home Depot. <laughs> How deep are we go? <laughs> Pretend you're my yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Home Depot. We here. How we ready. Go. Righty, so we need to get a drill. Oh wow, would you look at oh, that? There you go. 60 bajillion of them. What's the cheapest one? <laughs> okay, we picked this one. Got a bunch of whatever this is, this big fancy drill kit thingy, and I think that is all we need, so. We'll see, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I'm just as confused as you. <laughs> we'll hope for the best. Hopefully this is what we need. We'll see. Yeah. Alrighty, so mission accomplished. We are back. So here is everything that we got. Oh, you can see we got a lot of stuff. I got a bunch of things on Amazon. Like this is a mirror. These are some shelves that I actually had in my house from Ikea. And the last time we did the closet makeover, we got the drills. We have this groovy shelf that um, you might recognize from my old room tour. I'm redecorating my room, so getting rid of this and giving it to Miss Quinn. Yeah, recycle kits. Recycling. <laughs> we got our groovy ass toolkit right here full of, well, not a lot of stuff, but you know, we're working on it. And we are going to get started. So here we go. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and put that Ikea shelf in the corner over here for shoes. So you can see there's just two little drill holes up there. So we're gonna go ahead and drill that into the wall so it is safe and secure. And by we're gonna do it, I mean Quinn's gonna do it because I'm filming this video. That's all set up over there. We're gonna go ahead and paint the mirror in the center of the wall. You can see I got this mirror on Amazon, super cute. In the mirror, you can see there's two little hooks on it. So we're gonna take a tape measure, measure in between there, and mark on the wall the same measurement on the wall. Math isn't exactly my forte, so I don't love this part, but you know. Hammer some nails into the wall and hang that right up, and voila, looking groovy. Fantastic. Next up, we're gonna hang the infinity shelves, which how we're gonna do that is hang the brackets into the wall like so. So you can see we have one already hung up here. Basically, all you do is hammer that into the wall. You just gotta hammer those nails or screw them in or whatever. We had a lot of struggles doing this, but eventually we got it. Line up the shelf with the wall bracket so it hangs there and boom, nailed it. Literally. <laughs> Thank you, next, next. Go ahead and hang another one right next to it, as many as you want along your wall and boom. Looking good, kids. Thank you, Miss Vanna White. <laughs> Next, we're gonna hang the clothing rack, which you can see I got these on Amazon. These are just little clothing bars. So you can see all you have to do for this is literally screw them into the wall. That's it. So line them up however it is that you want them. Go ahead and screw some screws into the base and boom, they're hung. 
Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and hang some little mini shelves up by the mirror here. So you can see for these, literally, again, all you have to do is screw some screws into the top here. We went ahead and just hammered them in because we're a little bit lazy, but you know, anything will work. We eyeballed the level a little bit, put those up, and bam, we're killing it. <laughs> Cover the screws with little white sticky tapes to keep the aesthetic on fleek. And there we go, we have those beautiful little shelves hung too. Underneath those, we're gonna wanna hang some hooks, but at this point, it was late, so we went to bed and then came back the next morning in full glam to continue our project. So we're gonna go ahead and use some command strips for this because it is an apartment, so we're trying not to completely ruin the walls. So, so go ahead, just put the command strip on the side of that and you can just plug that right onto the wall like so. Now that we've got some beautiful hooks, I think we are pretty much done, aside of the fact that we still need more storage. So we're gonna go ahead and use a clothing rack because those are great for extra storage space. So we're gonna go ahead and set up this little clothing rack. We got this on Amazon too. You can sit this over on the side here for just a little bit of extra space. Do a little bit of quick cleanup here before we show you the finished product and ta-da! You can see all of it all hung up and ready and now we just need to get to decorating. Okay guys, are you ready for the grand reveal? I think it's so much better than the last one we did. I'm honestly way more impressed. Okay, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. It's perfect. I'll give you guys the quick tour, but you can see overall it came out absolutely freaking amazing. Here's the grand tour. <laughs> We're so <laughs> short. Okay, anyways, tour. So again, you can see that before it was literally just a blank wall, nothing else, and now it is a little closet heaven. We have all of the clothes hanging on the racks right here. Put all the purses right here, some shoes. Of course, me and Quinn being adorable. She loves ducks. We've got, you know, her celebrity crush, some nice flowers for aesthetics. These are great to hang necklaces on, so that's super cool. Put some pretty makeup and things on here. Hang your hat, some aesthetically pleasing makeup again and perfumes. Put all of your favorite shoes on the shoe shelf for some nice aesthetics, of course. And then again, a great way to have extra storage, like I said, is to have a clothing rack so you can fit all of your extra clothes right there by the window. Throw some shoes on the floor too for a little extra storage. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Absolutely perfect if I do say so myself. <laughs> it looks so beautiful in the background. Love it. So there you have it, you guys. That was our uh, DIY wall closet makeover. Though it wasn't really a makeover, more like building a wall closet. What are we even gonna title this video? Building my dream closet with my best friend. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> she literally has built my dream closet twice. Oh, my absolute pressure. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, for more DIY adventures, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to find me on Instagram, it's at Amber Scholl. Quinn is at Quinn the Carpenter. Yes, I changed my Instagram because now I officially started my career as a carpenter. I want to be the world's <laughs> cutest carpenter. Love you guys. Kisses. Till next time. Good luck on all your adventures, and we will see you soon. XO. Do it together. <laughs>